it is when the radical elements try to force their own ideologies on others that the potential for conflict area arises on these issues of environment the conference seems to have agreed that the philosophic understanding un under pinning of the dharma which traces the protection of natural heritage is critical for sustainable development i personally consider the hindu buddhist conference on conflict avoidance and environmental consciousness as an important development in a world that seems to be short of durable ideas on both issues hinduism after the buddha's advent became buddhist hinduism or hindu buddhism they are today an inseparable amalgam this is how swami vivekananda raised buddha i quote at the time buddha was born india was in need of a great spiritual leader a prophet buddha never bowed down to anything buddha was the great preacher of equality every man and woman had the same right to attain spirituality that was his teaching i would personally call india buddhist india as it has embodied all the values and virtues of the teachings of buddha been india would like to develop bodh gaya so that it can become the spiritual capital and civilizational bond between india and the buddhist world i am happy to read the declaration of buddhist religions and spiritual leaders this declaration is the result of hard work and extensive dialogue which is why it is pioneering document that will show us the way ahead i wish you well in your constant and determined effort to ensure that our wisdom reaches the future generations and that too in a manner in which they can practically relate to